Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Hello, I'm thank you. I'm fine, thanks. Okay, amazing. That's good. How are you, Wilfredo? Hi, fine. And you, teacher? I'm really good. Happy, right? Okay, that's good. How are you, Oscar? Very well, teacher. Okay, that's good. Fabiola, how are you? Fine, teacher. How are you today? How are you, teacher? I'm fine, fine thanks. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Leticia, how are you? How are you, teacher? Fine, really good. What about hey. you? Okay, Flor, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, that's and good. And you? I'm really good. Okay, students, uh, we are going to start with today's class. Sé que están cansaditos ahí todo, pero. We have to, you know, to develop this class and it will be very, very nice. Y va a ser genial. Así que no pongan esa carita. Wake up. <laughs> we need to wake up. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, let's start with this. Let me see. Okay, students. Basically, we are going to continue with module number three. And we get today's topics. Will be help me to read place, place, and places and things. Okay, places and things, places and things. Re really cool. And then we are gonna see compound nouns. Okay, nice compound nouns and places and things. Lugares y cosas y algunos nombres compuestos. Okay. Hello, Fabricio. How are you today? Hello. How are you? Fine. Okay. Fine. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Stephanie, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, well, nice. good. <laughs> okay. Let's see, students. Uh, did you remember yesterday class? We were discussing about what? ¿De qué hablábamos en la clase de ayer? Common medications. Yeah, very good. Common medications, health problems, and so on, right? Okay. But we're gonna, we're gonna start with a warm up. And you have to say what you see. We're gonna see health problems, right? In this place, it will be up here, you know, some pictures. And you have to guess. You have to guess what it is. Okay, that's good. Let's see. I have a vacate. Okay, that's good. In Spanish? Dolor de espalda. Yeah, very good. Ya a esta hora sentí un dolorcito right acá. <laughs> but, but that's normal, right? <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, that's good. No, no hay que hacerle caso a eso, así que... And continue with today's class. Okay. What about this one? Airborne. 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 Uh -huh. uh, okay. Acidez. Yeah, acidez. Very good. Acidez. Really nice. Mm -hmm. eh, Recuerden que en este caso, a veces, a veces, van a encontrar que se puede traducir también como eh, un pequeño... Dolor en el pecho, pero casi siempre la acidez causa ese dolor en el pecho, right? Okay, very good. What about this one? I have a headache. Dolor de cabeza. Yeah. Es un dolor de cabeza. Yeah, right. Today I had a headache in the morning. I have a headache. Yeah, yeah. In the morning. Yeah, but I start to, you know, to prom, 
a barrer y se me quitó, right? Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Continue with this, students. Okay. Uh, this is today's topics, and we have lesson objectives. Okay. Who wants to help me to read the first one? Me, teacher. Okay. By the end. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Stephanie, what? Stephanie Rosales. Then Stephanie, Stephanie, the second one. Stephanie Rosales. Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for answers and other places and skills where you can get different things. Okay, very nice. Good job, Stephanie Rosales. Cool, amazing. Okay, Stephanie, Thanks. continue with the second one. Again, this class, you will learn, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound noun. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, uh, we have two Stephanie, right? That will be funny, but we have it. Okay, let's get it. Uh, the first one, thank you, Stephanie. Uh, we're going to see vocabulary for a store and other places, right? And the second objective, we will learn how to sound natural, right? When we say compound nouns. Really good. Okay, vamos a aprender de muchas cosas esta clase. Okay, students. As we do all the time, we're going to see uh, useful sentences, right? The first one is, I can get. I can get. What does it mean? Um, I can get. Yo puedo. Eh, yo puedo hacerlo. Yo puedo. Yo puedo hacerlo. Yo puedo obtener. Yeah, nice. Really good. Thank you. Uh -huh. eh, get es obtener. Pero en este caso vamos a sobreentenderlo. For example, let me see. I got myself to here. Eh, imagínense que Wilfredo me tiene mi teléfono, right? Entonces, eh, yo se lo quiero tomar a él y le digo, Wilfredo, I can get my, can I get my phone? Ya sería como una pregunta. ¿Puedo, puedo tener mi teléfono? Es obtenerlo, right? Pero en este caso, te lo estoy pidiendo formalmente. Ahí vamos a usar get. Ya vamos a ver realmente cómo funciona. Ok, let's get. I can get. Puedo tener tal cosa. Ok, that's good. Then we have this one. Farmacia. Es una droguería. Yeah. droguería. Farmacia. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Parecido a una farmacia. Uh -huh. yeah, drugstore. Ok. Eh, ok. Drugstore. Eh, drugs es drogas, pero drugstore es una farmacia. Right? Eh, ok, that's good. Very good. Okay, so guys, we're gonna see this, how to use can and cannot. Eh, les he traído una diapo aparte para el uso de can y cannot because it's really important to understand how to use it. Okay, can, what does it mean can? Puedo. Puedo, y cannot? No puedo. No puedo. No puedo. No puedo. La contracción puede ser can. Right. Yep. Okay, that's good. How to use? We, have, we can use for ability or possibility, right? Podemos utilizar para una posibilidad. Posibilidad o habilidad. 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 I can swing. I can swing. Yeah, puedo nadar. Puedo nadar, right? Yes, very good. It's an ability. That's good. Also, we can use hand for permission. Permission. Para pedir? Permiso. 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 You can use my hand, right? No, solicitar algo amablemente. Okay, solicitar algo. Eh, okay, that's good. Eh, hay algo sumamente importante that I want to show you right now. 
is this one. Eh, ¿Se recuerdan que cuando utilizábamos the third person, el verbo, le íbamos a agregar una? Ese. Ese. Okay. Ese. Y yeah. ahora, <coughs> tenemos dos verbos juntos, íbamos a agregar two para separarlo. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Yes. Bien. Eso no aplica. ¿Con quién? We are going to omit that rule. For example, we can say, uh, he can speak English. No lleva S. Son dos verbos y no lleva T O. Mm -hmm. Con N es una exclusividad que no se va a utilizar tú ni la S. Right? Ok. Ok, very good. Ok, students. Then we have this one. Eh, son prepositional places, right? At, in, on. Esto es un poco, a little bit tedious, but it's important to understand how to use them. Eh, okay, we got at, in, and on. Okay, let's see. Básicamente, los tres significan en. 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 Con on es fácil porque vamos a sobreentender que es sobre algo, pero está en general. ¿Sí? Ok. ¿Cómo viene la confusión? Veamos acá. Ok, students. At. When we talk about at, estamos hablando en algo. Specific. Eh, lugar. Algún o lugar general. específico. Yeah. Un lugar grande. Uh, un lugar privado. Yeah. A places. Estamos hablando de un lugar en, en, en general, en grande, específico. En general, en general. general. Por ejemplo, at college. At college. Uh -huh. En la. En el colegio. En el colegio. Universidad. Universidad. La universidad. ¿La universidad es pequeña o es? Grande. Grande. Oh, gran. It's big. No es grande. Uh -huh donde estamos, si en la cafetería, si en el salón de clases, sino que, hey, where are you? Ah, I am at college. Estoy en general, en at college. General way. At home. Ok. Teacher, en cualquier parte you? de la casa. At home, right? <ríe> en cualquier parte. No, sabe, no, no sabemos exactamente dónde está. Yep. Ok. Eh, ok. At reception. Aquí sí es algo un poco específico, pero la recepción tiene muchos partes, right? Puede ser en el baño, en el, la sala de espera, en el lobby, and so on, right? We talk about general. Okay. General, okay. Okay, it's clear? Yes, it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, estas dos son más fáciles. In, in, okay, how do you say that? Thanks. Okay. Uh, And a little box here. A little box. In. For example, I got this little box. Yeah. Uh, the car is in the box. Centro de. Yeah, very good. And on. Like on. Sobre. Sobre de. Sobre de. Okay, very nice. Now that you understand this, in a taxi. In a taxi. Dentro del taxi. En, en un taxi. En el taxi. No nos ¿Qué va? Es raro ir en el taxi. <ríe> Solo cuando es un pickup y, y están saliendo las cosas. Ahí sí. On the car. In, right? car. Okay. in, in a taxi. Sky. In a car. In the sky. In the sky. In the world. In the world. In the Or in the tower. En la torre o en el edificio. Right? <ríe> Ok, on, on the way. On the... Calle. Usted va on the way, sobre la calle. Ah, estoy sobre en la, la calle. Sobre la calle. On the radio. On the way. En el radio, cuando escuchamos algo. Ok, aquí sí suena un poco a little bit weird. On the radio, pero así se dice. On the page. Ok, on the page. En la página. En la página. No. Sobre la página. Okay, When are you writing? When we are reading. Very good. On the page. Okay. As you see, this is a general in, inside, and on. On, right? It's clear? Sobre. Yeah. Clear. 
Okay. Yeah. okay. Let's see this example, the students. Okay, Wilfredo, help me to read it. The example. Uh, I can buy a gasoline at a gas station. Okay, very nice. As you see here, we use can. Another I can buy gasoline. Gasoline. It's a thing. A station. What? At a gas station. Why? Do at. We... Why do we use at? Because it's in general. 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 It's in uh, let's see. Now we are going to review how to use uh, a definite pronoun, right? A definite article, sorry. A and an. Esto quiere decir? What? ¿Qué quiere uno. decir? Yeah. Sí, el, wow. el aseut es uno cuando se refiere a algo singular, pero el aseut utiliza cuando... La palabra posterior va con una consonante y el am cuando la palabra posterior con una vocal. Ok, muy nice, good job. That's good. Básicamente lo que nos dice acá la compañera, cuando nosotros tenemos una, un sonido de consonante, por ejemplo, book, esta vez una consonante. Ok, entonces vamos a utilizar a, a book. Mm. Cuando esta es seguida por una vowel sounds o una vocal, vamos a utilizar. Okay. Ah, ah. Es similar a las reglas de español. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, eh, hay que tener valor eh, e integridad. ¿No, right? Integridad. Valor e integridad. Similar a eso. Similar a esas reglas. Solo que en este caso, and, cuando tenemos vowel, an apple. An A, an orange, and so on, right? Okay. Esto sí está claro, right? It's clear? Right, it's clear. It's, it's clear. clear. Like yes. A, like Coca-Cola. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Okay, students, but be careful with this. Tienen que tener sumamente cuidado. Eh, we're going to find some word that sounds like a consonant, but eh, it sounds like a vowel too. Let's see. Vamos a tener cuidado con esto. Tenemos, por ejemplo, esta palabra. Digan esta, ahora en inglés. Our. 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 sonido. Yeah, very good. This sounds, la, la H es silent. Es eso. Silenciosa. No, no, suena. no se pronuncia. Como no se pronuncia, muy bien, vamos a ocupar. Uh, Porque tenemos, tendríamos entonces una... Una, una vocal. Aunque acá una es vowel. Una una vowel. Pero suena como vowels, an hour. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. Pero notan acá, ¿cómo dicen esto? Casa inglés. House. 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 You. Suena como eso. You. Mm, okay. University. Yes, university. No suena la U de un solo, sino que una. You. You. Una university. Bring it. University. Okay, very nice. Good job, students. Okay, and then we got some compound nouns. Luego tenemos algunos eh, nombres compuestos, compuesto, perdón, o adjetivos. Very good. Veamos. A cold day. A cold day. A cold day. Okay. A, cold a very crazy person. A very crazy person. Okay, very good. A veces me pasa, pero es bueno ser un poco crazy sometimes. Okay, that's good. Then we have the... 
Infinity lesson. An easy lesson. Very good. An interesting, um, class. interesting class. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. Okay, very nice. Okay, um, we're gonna know some places that we're gonna find in our society, right? We got this space, post office. What is this? Post office. Post, post office. office. Yeah. Oficina postal. Correo. Okay, yeah, very good. El correo. Nice. This one. A drugstore. Drug yeah. La farmacia. What about this one? A gas station. La gasolinera. La gasolinera. Okay, that's good. Cuando ya nadie quiere pasar por ahí. <laughs> okay, this one. A farm store. Tienda de. Almacén. This one. A bank. A bank. Banco. A bank. Muy bien. What about this one, students? A bookstore. A librería. Okay, librería. Very good. Uh, librería. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Cafetería, coffee shop. Una cafetería o un café. ¿Y es más? Supermarket. Supermarket. Supermercado. Supermercado. Ok. Supermarket. Yeah, good. Ok, students. Como vemos acá, todos estos lugares, la mayoría ya los conocemos. Y es muy fácil para nosotros to identify them. A post office, a drugstore, a bank, department store, gas station, bookstore, coffee shop, and supermarket, right? But we're going to learn how to ask and get some things from these places. For example, we got this really important question. You have to learn it. Tienen que aprendérsela. What can you get in these places? What can you get? And you get in these places. What can you get in these places? What can you get in these places? What can you get in these places? Okay, let's say. For example, here where it says in these places, you will change it for one of these places, places, right? For example, what can you get? What can you get? Also, in the supermarket. Supermarket. In the supermarket. supermarket. What can you get? What can you get? What can you get? I can in... get a. I can get a. Uh, I can get coffee, uh, bread, uh, food. Bread. Food. Bread. 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 You get food so, and. Nice. Food. Okay, student, uh, for example, if you ask, what can you get? A drugstore. Okay, I can get an aspirin at a drugstore. It's an easy answer. Do not respond that. Fácil. Completa. An aspirin. Okay, take it out. Okay. Okay, students, uh, in this slide, you know, on the left side, you can find some words. We have aspirin, que es aspirina, ayer lo vimos. Bread. Pan. Yeah. Um, a dictionary. Diccionario. Yeah. No existe. Gasolina. Gasolina. Un sándwich. Un sándwich. Okay. Bien. Um, Very good. A sweet. Sweet. Dul. Yeah, very good. Traveler's check. Check it, you hear them. Yeah, check it. And what we're gonna do? Is, I'm going to ask you, uh, some of you, right? What you can get from these places, right? Okay, we're gonna start with uh, Stephanie Rosales. Okay, Stephanie. Yes. Okay, ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, what can you get at a supermarket according to this word? Okay, I can get uh, a bread. 
and I can get um here um <laughs> food okay. in general yeah. at the supermarket. Very good, nice, good job, Stephanie. Really good job. Thank you. Okay, continue with this. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, that's good. Now let me see. Okay, uh, let me see, Fabricio. Okay, Fabricio. Yes. What can you get at a post office? I can get um, a stamp in the post office. Okay, okay, very good. At a post office. At a post office. Okay, very good. Pero si sí lo entiendo. Yo estaba pensando que estaba ahí en el post office. Then, that's good. Amazing. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Really good. Okay, let me see. Uh, um, Rebecca. Rebecca, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. What can you get at a gas station? I can get uh, gasoline at the gas station. Very good. Good job, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Continue with this. Um, okay, let me see. Sophie, are you there, Sophie? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. What can you get, Sophie? Um, let me see. At a bookstore. I can get a book uh, at a university. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Very good books uh, uh, from the university. Uh -huh. Okay, that's me. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's Thank you, Sophie. Really good job. Okay, students, okay. let's see. Lilian. Ready, Lilian? Ready. Okay, let's see. What can you get uh, at a bank? Um, I can get I I can get um um what? de crédito. <laughs> okay. I get a credit card. I do not. I do not see. Okay, credit card. Ah, credit card. Yeah. Credit. Okay, entonces I can get a credit card at a bank. Very nice, good job, Lilian. Amazing, really good. Okay, continue with this. Tanya. Okay. Yeah, okay. Tanya, what can you get? Um, let me see. A drugstore. I can get um, aspirin at uh, the drugstore. Okay, very good, good job. Okay, students, amazing. Uh, what are you gonna do right now? Okay. We are going to learn, let me see, about compounds nouns. You have an idea about this? Tienen una idea acerca de estos compound nouns? What, what it is it? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Eso en español. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. ¿Cómo le llamamos en español? Palabras compuestas. Yeah, palabras compuestas. ¿Quién quiere decir eso? Palabras compuestas. Que se pronuncian juntas. Yeah, very good, que son compuestas. <laughs> nice, good job. Okay, yes, good. No, que se pronuncian juntas. <laughs> que se pronuncian juntas, very good. They are together, right? Okay, we have <laughs> uh, uh, compound nouns can be a noun, a person, a place, or a thing, right? And when we uh, pronounce this word, it gonna sound together, as Leticia said, right? Very good job. Okay, students, we have post office. What is post office? Correo. Okay. El correo. 
Okay. Oficina de correos. Yeah, nice. This one? Farmacia. 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 Gasolinera. Gasolinera. Supermercado. Supermercado. Este es como Res, el cuarto privado. Restaurio. No. Dormitorio. Mm, okay. No, es un... Es como la escuela de estar, creo. Morales, Morales. No. Capaz, no. Esto, esto... Creo que es el dormitorio. Mm, no. Es similar to bathroom. Bathroom. Ajá, es bathroom. Yeah. Es este es un baño, pero ¿cuál es la diferencia con bathroom? Área de aseo. Eh, yeah. Creo que es... Um, Cuarto de aseo. Creo que es como la ducha, ¿no? No, es un baño público. <risa> Este es un baño, un baño. En este caso, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Restaurant. Also de business. restaurante, es un baño de restaurante. De restaurante o de algún lugar donde se vende. Donde pueden entrar, ajá, como un baño para que está. Baño de aseo. Para clientes. Yeah. Nice. Ok, beginning with this. Coffee shop. Coffee shop, right? Cafetería. 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 This one? Department store. Departamento de ventas. Departamento de ventas. Yeah, nice. ¿Cuál es esto? Librería. 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 Okay. Supermercado. Supermercado. Okay, students. All of these words are compounds. Right? Tenemos todas estas eh, nuevas palabras están compuestas por eh, palabras que si las ponemos Separadas significan otra cosa. Por ejemplo, books es solo libro. Libro. Store. No. Tienda. 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 Bookstore. Librería. 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 Una tienda para right? Pero en este caso se traduce como librería. Porque igual esta, gas station. Gas station. Estación de gas. Gasolinera. Gas. Es gasolinera. Gas station. Ok, yes. Good job. Ok, students, I don't think we have questions. Questions? No, teacher. No. Ok, good. Ok, now we are going to practice this. Uh, questions you have to take note because you have to ask to your partner. Tienen que memorizarla, tomar nota porque se la van a preguntar a su compañero. Veamos. Uh, let's analyze at the beginning this word. Okay. What can you get at a y dicen el place, right? Can you get at a supermarket? What can you get at a gas station? What can you get at a drugstore? And so on. Etc. Etc. Et Acá ponen todos los places que ya hemos aprendido. Okay. Uh, then we're going to find how to answer these questions. ¿Cómo lo vamos a responder? I can get a or an, dependiendo la palabra que le sigue. Por ejemplo, si es una aspirina, ¿cuál de estas dos vamos a utilizar? I can get an aspirin. Okay, the other question will be, can you get a, okay, in this case, you are going to change gasoline, okay, for gasoline, <laughs> or another word in English, right? Okay, for example, uh, can you get a gasoline at a supermarket? No. No. All right. no, I can I get, can get um, gasoline, gasoline at the supermarket. Ah, it's like this. Así que hay que contestar. Entonces, ustedes me hacen una pregunta causiosa a sus questions. Yeah. Una question. Ah, le ponen acá la cosa que necesitan conseguir en un lugar determinado. Puede ser algo que sea de verdad o algo que no puedan conseguir. Yep. Yeah. 
Oke. Okay. Yes. Okay, you have questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay, that's good. And you make notes already? Ya tomaron nota? Sí. Yeah, very good. Okay, ready to practice these questions? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I really like this group. Por eso me encanta este group. Okay, siempre ready. Okay. Yeah. okay, very good. Okay, okay, students. Let's go to practice these questions. Ask each other and don't be shy. Practice as many times as you can. Pregúntenle lo que ustedes necesitan saber, lo que sea, a sus compañeros. What we need in this is to practice, right? Go ahead. Practice these questions. Okay, Lilian. Lilian, are you there? Okay, that's good. Yes. <laughs> uh, y la otra sería, can you get a break at a bank? No, no, I can't get a uh, bad uh, bank. Okay. Entonces ahora Wilfredo que me pregunte a mí. Y yo le pregunto a What can you what can you get a uh, a supermarket? <laughs> I can get a groceries at the supermarket. Okay. Can you, can you get a... Um, um, oh. What can you get? Um, a gas station. <laughs> a sandwich. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I, can I, can, get, uh, I can get a uh, gasoline at the gas station. Okay, thanks. Um, the other question is, can you get um, a sandwich at a post office? No, no I, can't. I can't get a sandwich at the post office. Okay, thanks. Sophie, Sophie, question. Vale, Leticia, a Elsie. A Elsie. Una Elsie y otra Sophie. Ay, que hay otra. Elsie. What can you get a uh, um, travel checks? 
el sí. Lo perdió el sí. Uh, I don't well, listen. I don't listen the, the, the all the sentences. Okay. No escuché toda la oración. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, what can you get uh, travel checks at um I, supermarket? Okay. I can get um a travel check. Um, I can get out a travel checks at um a post office. No, I can travel. No, I can. No, I can get a, a, a post office. At a bank. A post office. Okay. Estuvo buena la. Estuvo divertido. Okay, continue practice, student. That's amazing work. Okay, okay. a minute. Sophie. Eh, digamos eh, la que le decía la, la pregunta que le decía yo a eh, a can you get a gasoline a tu supermercado supermercado uh -huh, uh -huh. sí. ah, okay. solo solo son dos sí es que en ese momento me cayó una llamada y por no, no le dije nada al joven por bueno le voy a hacer la primera a Sofía what can you get are sí a Fabiola Sí, a Fabiola, a, a, a Fabiola, a Fabiola, bueno, aquí me siento bien bendecido entre ustedes dos. Voy a hacer a Fabiola, pues. Okay. What can you get a? Well. Can you repeat, please? Voy la segunda, ¿verdad? Can you get a aspirin en drugstore? Uh, yes, I can get an uh, aspirin at a drugstore. Okay. ¿Y negativo? Uh, entonces me tiene que preguntar lo anterior que le mencionaba, Flor. La de arriba. No, o sea, la no. misma pregunta, pero, pero. O sea, sabe que, por ejemplo, en, en un supermercado no me encontrar gasolina. Es, ah, la cauciosa, una pregunta cauciosa. Ajá. <laughs> bueno, can you get gasoline in, in, in more? No, I can get a gasoline at a supermarket. Sí, no, pero también puede ser mole en un centro comercial. Sí. <laughs> sí, de flor. Yeah. El agua flor, entonces. That's good, that's good. No, no, can está bien. Okay, teacher. Teacher? Yeah, yeah, tell me. Ah. Ya, ya regresamos, estamos siempre otros tres, cuatro. No, solo estamos acá en group, right? You have to uh, continue practicing, don't work. Ah, ok. okay. Bueno, entonces vamos. Uh, ok, very good. Fabiola. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, I will to another group. Eh. Ay, pero no encontró ya ya habíamos terminado. Okay. Terminaron. Okay, that's good. Okay. Veamos ahí, pregúntese una. I want to hear you. Okay. Fabricio, te pregunto. Okay. Okay, what can you get uh, a drugstore? I can get a drug, uh, aspirin, an aspirin, and a co in the drugstore. At, uh, at drugstore, drugstore, ya me trabé. Los nervios. Okay, can you get a coffee, a coffee at a department store? No, I can get a coffee and add a department store. Okay. Ahora. Ahora voy yo. 
Rebeca. Agárrate. ¿A quién? ¿A mí o a Rebeca? Uh, para, para que nos escuche el teacher, a Rebeca. Y después... Yeah, sure. Un bueno. mano a mano entre ustedes pregunto... dos. <risa> <risa> eh, Rebeca, what can you get a, a, a book store? I can get a books and dictionary at a bookstore. Can you get a dictionary in the Star Mark uh, station gas gas station? Yeah. No, I can get a dictionary at a at a gas station. Is that right? Yes. Ah, bye. Y ahora pregunta el teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. What can you get at a supermarket? Okay, as a supermarket. Okay, it's a really hard question. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. mm, let me see. Let me think. Um, okay, I can get bread, my food, vegetable at a supermarket. Le falta el a. A bread. Ah, bread. And, uh -huh. and <laughs> vegetables and some things and so on. That's okay. me, thank you. <laughs> Can you get uh, stamps at a soup at a coffee shop? <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, I can't get a stamp at a coffee shop. Okay, very nice. Good job, student. Okay, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Bueno, gracias. Okay, that's good. Okay, really nice students. Did you practice, right? Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, students, really nice. Let's see. Okay, uh, we're gonna continue with today's class. And basically, we were discussing some questions about how can you get something, right, for a place. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, really nice students. Right now we are gonna watch a video about this. And please listen carefully because we're gonna listen to the right pronunciation of some words and that's for you. Okay, let's get started with this video. Vamos a ver, pongan full attention to this video. Eh, para que escuchemos ahí la pronunciación correcta, así que eh, escuchen el video. Five. Yep. Okay, Hi, very good. In this class, we learn. Okay, we're going to start right now. In this class, we learn vocabulary. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Okay, right now. Hi, right. everyone. In this class, we learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practice. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. 
What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, very good. ¿Qué tal sintieron ahí el lado? Did you understand? Yeah. Very good. So, so. Okay, nice. Very good. <laughs> Sounds good. That's good. Uh, the advantage of this that you can uh, review on your phone, right? When you have time, as many time as you can. Okay, students, let's see. We got something really important here, right? Okay, give me a minute. Here. We finish already, you know, section two. You see, simple way to improve your health. Yesterday we got this uh, reading part. Teacher, I have a question. Lo que sucede, se lo voy a decir en español. Lo que sucede aquí cuando, no sé por qué razón, eh, cuando yo me meto a la, a la aplicación, eh, paso todos los pasos de, de la sección, pero no sé por qué razón no me aparecen todos los chequecitos. Entonces no sé en qué exactamente estaré fallando porque los paso todos y ya cuando termino me salen solamente en unos cuantos. Normalmente me cuesta más que me aparezca el cheque cuando son después de las, es cuando es la les, sí. lesson objective okay. o el tema que va de posterior. Siempre hago la discusión y escucho el video. Entonces no sé cuál será Tal vez el error que se cometiera no me parece completamente cheque, sino que tal vez unos cheques de todo lo que he hecho. Ok, ok, that's good. Uh, don't worry about this little check, right? No se preocupen de estos chequecitos, lo más importante acá. Obviamente, that you can study, right? Uh, when you have time. But also, uh, what you need to do is the knowledge check, right? This one. This is a little bit exam. For example, in this case, uh, we're going to see section three. This one. We're going to have knowledge check for places and things. Let's see. Okay. For example, Stephanie. Yeah. No, Stephanie. Este, a veces pasa eso, pero tenés que esperar un momento. O sea, yeah. por ejemplo, los objectives uh, te va a aparecer ahí. Eh, si lo pasas, vos lo, lo lees súper rápido. Y entonces no te parece el check, igual sucede con los videos, tenés que esperar, esperar un momento, no, no inmediatamente que terminas de leer, sino que tenés que darle un poco más de tiempo y ya te van a aparecer los cheques. Sí, yeah, sure, that's good. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, very thanks. Nice. Okay, students, uh, basically after that question, uh, we got the knowledge check for today's class, and it will be this one. You have to listen to this um, conversation, and you have to answer this question. Where is Jean going to buy the swim suits that she needs? ¿Dónde va a comprar esto? Acá le aparecen varias eh, options, right? And you have to choose the best one. Tienen que elegir la mejor. Right? According to this conversation, de acuerdo a esta conversación que van a poner acá, right? Yes. You have to do this and this, and then click on this button. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good, students. Um, okay, let's get. Okay, I don't know if you have questions. No, teacher. No question. No question. For this moment, no. Okay, that's good. Very nice. Okay, I so have a question. Yeah, tell me, Reina. Um, la digo en español. <laughs> no este, mi pregunta es si nunca vamos a tener un examen, un hora de examen, o por decirlo así, algo, algo, alguna evaluación en, en las videoconferencias o solo es en la plataforma? Ok, ok. Very nice question. Thank you, Reina. Ok, that's good. Siempre no está evaluando. 
I'm thinking, right? Ah, <laughs> son broma. Ok, recuérdense. Eh, en inglés, para que nosotros lo podamos eh, aprender más rápido, es cuestión de práctica, right? Eh, un examen, en nuestro caso, como se está evaluando en esta compañía, es que un examen no nos va a ser mejor o peor que otro, right? ¿Sí? Eh, lo más importante acá es que ustedes practiquen. Cuando nos ponemos acá en los grupos que hacemos, eh, yo los estoy evaluando. Right? Todas las clases están evaluando. Así que eh, a 70% of the class, of the general grades, 70% de las notas, básicamente lo que ustedes hacen en this uh, platform, right? Y en la plataforma, bueno, well, en, en, esta, en esta sección de Zoom, eh, vale 70%, y lo demás es lo que ustedes hacen en la plataforma, ¿right? Yeah. Así que eh, la plataforma es importante porque es un respaldo que ustedes tienen, de que sí han trabajado, pero en las clases acá es donde ustedes muestran su conocimiento, su práctica y la mejora que van teniendo día a día. Right. Okay. That's good. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, yo quería comentar algo. Y yo, yo, bueno, yo, yo soy de, de Ciudad Barrios y acá yeah, llueve, llueve mucho. Yeah. Entonces, a veces se me hace como difícil poder ingresar a, la, a, a las clases de esta hora. Yeah, sure. este, y yo logro entrar a veces y de repente ah, me sacó y ya no vuelvo a entrar. Pero es por la cuestión, la mala señal, porque ahorita ya está lloviendo, pero no es mucho. Pero a, ayer lo mismo, estaba lloviendo fuerte, entonces de un solo me sacó y luego ya no tengo señal. Entonces no okay. sé si eso afecta o, o aún okay. así por lo de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que en el caso yo la estoy trabajando, el módulo yeah, sure. 1 y el 2. Sí, y, y esta dificultad creo que la voy a seguir teniendo por hasta que siga lloviendo. Yeah, it's understandable, Sophie. Ok, esto básicamente, no se preocupen, es decir, Sofía eh, siempre está en las clases y a veces se sale, pero ya no explicó su problema, right Entonces es, es entendible, no se preocupe. Eh, como está trabajando en la plataforma, yo le evalúo acá, eh, evaluamos el speaking, eh, y otras muchas cualidades que, que pues nos piden así que don't worry Sophie eh, siempre de hecho en el whatsapp mando el link de la clase, ahora se me olvidó but tomorrow I will do it eh, mañana sí lo haré y ustedes si no pudieron entrar ingresan a la clase y me dicen teacher, revisé la clase, la estudié en su own right y trabajé en la plataforma y ahí pues I know already that you work, right? Y yo ya sé que ustedes trabajan. Ok. Yeah. More questions? 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 No. Ok, that's good. No, 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 no. No, teacher. Oh, no, ok, that's good. <laughs> ok, students. Eh, unfortunately, time is over, right? Eh, me gustaría pasar más tiempo acá con ustedes. Es un placer, but... Eh, yo sé que ustedes necesitan descansar y so on, right? Yes, you got to have sweet dreams and so on, right? Okay, that's it for today's class. Thanks for being here. Have a nice day and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. All right. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.